Maintenant, la fin de cycling. Hein? C'est bon. OK, folks, right now you're about 87 feet below the surface. You're at sea level. All the water that you see from here on out is going to be salt water, and it comes in from the Atlantic Ocean, and it is tidal. OK, right now we're at low tide. It's about two and a half foot difference between low and high tide. Usually, right now we're really at extreme low tide. Um, both caves have their own exit or entrance to the ocean. This cave exit is right up there where that dark area is. Okay, it runs through an underground tunnel. It's about three quarters of a mile long. It runs from here to the north shore side of the island, actually to Castle Harbor. Okay, and the water comes in from here. There's no fish in this water because there's no food down here. There's no sunlight, so there's no photosynthesis. There's no algae, no vegetation, nothing like that. So a fish wouldn't live in here. Okay. Um, the water temperature should be about 69 degrees. It goes up to about 72 in the, in the summer, like next month, and it'll stay that way for most of the summer, okay? Um, uh, mine just went blank. Um, uh, oh, the, the difference you're gonna see between this cave and, the, and the, next, the next cave is this right here. This is what they call a chandelier stalactite, okay? And what happens is the soda straws, which are these, these are the baby stalactites, um, they fuse together, okay, because of the, the, the temperature down here and the humidity. Now these soda straws, they, the way they form is when it rains, all that rainwater comes down through, it filters down through the rock, and it brings all the minerals down here. Without the rain, we would have no formations. Okay, it brings the minerals down here, and it starts to drip from the ceiling, and it actually spirals, and it creates this hollow soda straw. All right, they only grow about six inches every 100 years. Okay, that's how slow they form. Once they get to a certain length, they actually, the capillary tube will actually fill up with minerals and become hard and it'll start dripping on the outside, like this, creating a, like an icicle stalactite, okay? Um, the, most caves you see these here, like in crystal you're gonna see a lot of these icicle stalactites. Most caves have icicles. But these right here, from what I've been told, um, are unique to this cave. A lot of folks tell me they've been in a lot of caves and they've never seen this chandelier type of um, stalactite. When we go over the other side, you'll see a whole lot of them, okay? Um, the other thing you're going to see down here that you won't see in crystal is all this color. You see all this orange color? That, that orange and brown color, that's the result of all the iron that's down here, okay? That orange color there. And then you're going to see, you're all, while you're down here, you're going to see a lot of these. These are drapery formations. Okay, you're going to see some of these, actually there's a wall on the other side that's full of drapery and curtain. These are curtain formations right here. They look like sails. Okay, so you'll see a lot, of, you'll see a whole wall full when we go on the other side over here. Um, remember the color is just a result of the minerals, the different minerals. This stuff right here is called flowstone. You see it's brownish and tan, uh, grayish and tannish. When we go around the corner it's going to be orange. It just means that there's a lot of magnesium oxide over here and other um, mag, uh, minerals that give it this dark color, okay? Now, um, you won't see this at all in crystal. This right here, this is limestone. This is what they use, this is what you see on the houses, the roofs of the houses here, okay? This is what they use for the, on their roofs. Um, you can't see it in crystal only because it's covered with this stuff, with flowstone, okay? It's mostly covered with flowstone and calcium carbonate. But over here, for some reason, we just have this big, you know, big empty spot right here where you can uh, actually see the limestone, okay? Um, there's another formation I want to show you. We have to go around this side here. 